Okay, so now what I want to do is um, demonstrate how to actually use video footage with your animated GIFs. So I've got this uh, sky footage here, okay, just some clouds moving. And I'm going to come down here to Photoshop, File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. I'm going to pick that cloud footage that I've got right there. Okay, and I'm gonna limit to every nine frames. Okay, we'll make this move rather quickly, okay? Um, it doesn't need to move that smoothly for this to work. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and bring, I will trim this area to like right there, okay? And let's go ahead and hit okay. Now it's gonna only import in every ninth frame, okay? But it's gonna look just fine, okay? Let's go ahead and just hit play. So you can see the clouds are moving, okay? And it's just gonna be a little animated GIF anyway, so um, I thought bringing in every other, f or every ninth frame would actually make it move pretty fast, all right? So let's go ahead and press play again. Yeah, that'll look just fine for what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see here. And how many frames do we have? 26. Eh, that'll work just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in this building, okay? Or actually, wait. Let's go ahead and resize this first because this is going to be pretty large here, right? It's probably 1920 by 1080. Yes, so let's go ahead and just set this to 800 by 450. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and drag in my building here like so. Okay, and I'm going to move this building. Actually, I'm going to hit uh, return to commit to this and then move the building up to the very top here. Okay, and you can see how it shows up on every single frame. That's what we want, actually. Okay, I need to make some adjustments here, okay? This needs to be stretched a little bit or scaled up a little bit so the sides don't show. Whoops. And also, I want to cut the sky out. So what I need to do is select this frame here, move down to the end of the timeline, hold down Shift and select that so that I've selected every frame, okay? That way, if we move this around, see, watch when I move this, every single frame reflects those changes, okay? So what I wanna do is put this about in the middle, and let's see here, go ahead and stretch this out some, like so, just like that. That's gonna work just fine, okay? And then I'm going to hit my selection tool, quick selection tool, and just get rid of the sky, all right? Like so, all right, now notice those changes are reflected on every single frame. All right, and deselect. So let's go ahead and press play now. So there we go, we've put some moving clouds behind this old building. Now, let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, okay? And we're gonna pull the saturation all the way down, all right? And then we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, curves, and we'll throw a uh, little bit of an S curve on that, like so. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to file, save for web. Okay, and let's see here. That's a, that's a pretty good size. I'm gonna keep this at 32 colors, okay? And it's not it's not even one megabyte, so this will be just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit save. All right, and we'll just call this video, oh, video GIF, all right? Just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And where is it? Video GIF. Now, we can drag this right into a browser Okay, and there you have it. We have an animated GIF that we made with actual video footage. And of course, you can take these and, you know, embed them in a website, um, all kinds of things you can do. Um, I tend to use a lot of animated GIFs with Adobe Edge Animate. So um, there's still a lot of really useful things that you can do with these, and you can have a lot of fun with them as well. So um, yeah, have fun with animated GIFs.